friends, welcome to Spiritual Muscles. September 5 is celebrated as Teacher's Day in India. And as I was growing up in my childhood, I enjoyed celebrating Teacher's Day. Teacher's Day was one of my favorite days. I always used to look forward to Teacher's Day. The reason being, in my school, we used to celebrate it in a very unique way. We, the students, would dress up as teachers and we would go to school and teach the students of the younger class of if we were in ninth we used to teach those who were in eighth and seventh and our teachers would cook for us that day and we used to go wearing saris to school dressed up as our teachers and that day was a lot of fun and so I used to always enjoy Teacher's Day. You see, the Bible tells us about a good teacher. In the Gospel of Luke chapter 18, verse 18 to 20, we read about this rich young man who comes to Jesus and he addresses Jesus as a good teacher. Why do we call somebody a good teacher? You see, a teacher is not called a good teacher because of his or her knowledge in her respective subject, because 99% of them are very well educated in their own respective fields. They are either graduates or postgraduates. After that, they go for B. Ed. and M. Ed. and then they come to teach in schools these days. So they all are very good with their subjects. They are very well versed in their subjects. So it is not about their subject knowledge. It's not about the teaching skills. But there is something unique about a good teacher. Why is a person called a good teacher by the students? A teacher who is able to give the same love to every child, whether the child be good in studies or whether the child be weak in studies. If the teacher is able to give them the same attention, the same respect, the same value, those kind of teachers are called good teachers by the students. Our Lord was called a good teacher. You know, the reason is my Jesus was able to see every single person with equal respect and give everybody the same value. This rich young man who came to Jesus called him a good teacher because Jesus was able to love him and the poor beggar equally. He was able to give them equal respect and equal value. He cared equally for the highly educated people like Nicodemus and the not so very well educated ones like the fishermen. He loved equally the religious leaders who came to him like Joseph of Arimathea and the tax collectors and the sinners like Zacchaeus and Mary Magdalene. He valued every person alike. In the Gospel of Luke chapter 6 verse 40, Jesus says the student is not above the teacher, but everyone who is fully trained will be like their teacher. Our Jesus is expecting us to be like him, our good teacher. He's expecting us, the disciples, to reflect our teacher's character to others. Shall we just ex examine ourselves today? Are we like our teacher? Are we able to display the same compassion, the love and the care to our fellow human beings? Or are we biased when we deal with people? Let's examine our hearts and check if we look down on people because of their looks, their education, their family background, their financial status, their ethnicity. Let's ask the Holy Spirit to show us our mistakes and, and maybe be able to repent and let's be the disciples who reflect their good teacher. In 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, we read that the scripture, God's word, is a good teacher. The scripture teaches us. The scripture corrects us. If any of you listening to me today are, are concerned about your future, you are not able to make, take the right decisions, let me encourage you to read your Bible. The scripture will teach you. The scripture will guide you. In John chapter 14, verse 26, Jesus tells us about the Holy Spirit. He refers to the Holy Spirit as a teacher. The Holy Spirit will teach us in all things and will remind us of all everything that Jesus taught us or Jesus said. And right now, I want to encourage you, no matter what you are going through in your life, you have the Holy Spirit as a good teacher to guide you and lead you. Shall we pray? Father, even as we come to your feet, O oh Lord, I pray right now for every single person who's listening to my voice. Lord, if there is anyone who is not able to make the right decision, who is confused about what to, where to turn to, what step to take, Lord, I ask you, Holy Spirit God, to guide them, speak to them, tell them the way, whisper into their ear, my son, my daughter, this is the way. 
move to the right, move to the left. May your guidance be with them. I ask you a lot to speak to them through your word and be a guide. May your word be a lamp unto their feet and a light unto their path, O oh Lord. Lead them forward and lead them to victory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you.